welcome back everybody to seven days today i'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to do another house flipper uh let's see if we can get the interior of the house finished in this episode so um let's grab our paintbrush and our paint i've got some more paint cooking up too because i'm sure we're going to need it and we'll put that there um actually let's do this okay and then we'll just grab another one of those paints that's cooking up so um let's start with the bathroom here uh, so first thing we want to do is uh, I, I already redid the walls from that to this so it looks a little bit better um and let's also hit that corner piece there too i'm okay i guess with this this ceiling texture um thing uh but the tub toilet and sink has to go um because they look like shit and we got to redo the floor all right so let's go into here uh sinks and toilets and this is going to give us a variety of options so so we're going to need a bucket of water i don't think i even have any buckets so you know what too i don't have any iron son of a gun okay yeah i need to go iron mining let's grab half of this and um we'll put half there and we'll put half here i've just these guys have been as you can see working on cement like crazy We'll get some of that cement cooking up too. Um, but yeah, we need to get a little iron in here um, so I can make a bucket. Um, and I think we're going to actually need to make three buckets. Oh, actually, that just requires forged iron. We have that already. Thought we had to make that directly in the forge. Whoops. All right. So, bucket. Three of those. And then. Um, can we, can we get snow inside of a bucket? I don't know if we can or not. We'll have to, we'll have to find out. Let's wait for the first one to <clears throat> finish here. Oh, for Pete's sake, it shouldn't take that long to make a damn bucket. Come on, game. <laughs> um, well, here, while we're waiting for that, let's go back into the bathroom and tear up the, uh, We have a zombo out here. Just him? Looks like it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this shit. Looks terrible. We'll keep the light. Um, and let's redo the floor and the tile along the floor, too. Okay, so uh, go to here, and we want to find floor tiling. Okay, so these are our options here. Tile industrial. Um, if we do that... Oh, that's what's along the walls. All right, um... Which doesn't really look that good e either. So let's try the brown floor tile and see what that looks like. And yeah, that's still really ratty looking, isn't it? Come on, fun pimps. You got to give us some nice textures for those of us who want to actually make something nice. You know? You know what I'm saying? I think this looks like... Actually, I think this is what's already there. What does this one look like? Yeah, see, it's all it's all just torn up, crappy looking shit. Ah, okay. Um, gray marble floor. That might look a little odd. What is what is cabinet old counter? What would that look like? Uh, I mean, that, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that might actually work okay for the wainscoting tiling. Maybe? I don't know. We'll we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Okay. Uh, there's other options here. We got to just figure out the best one here. So why don't we... So that's drop ceiling two. I think that's going to... Oh, yeah, right. That's that thing that we used on the walls. There was something else I was thinking about here. 
awning tan, drywall ceiling, fabric blinds. Oh, yeah, gray marble. Let's look at that. I mean, maybe. Why, why can't we get rid of that bullshit? I guess we're going to have to redo the board. This going put that in there oh we need to, we want to upgrade it first though I guess we don't really need to but we will anyways okay I mean that's that's not terrible I guess that's not terrible um if we're gonna go that route with the marble do we want to just do the sidewalls too with that I think Those are all like wood textures there. Yeah, I think we do. So let's just make all of this like that. Okay, that's better. That is better. All right, now we got to get these buckets filled up. So I've never tried to fill a bucket up in this game with snow. Let's see if it works or not. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not how we do it. We have to put the snow and the jars in the campfire. Oh, okay. Grab some snow here. It hasn't given me an option to do that. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do then. I mean, we could try that. I don't think it's going to work, but let's just try it. Nope. It doesn't let me click on the snow to get a pail full of snow. Um, where is the nearest water? Is there any water at all in this town? Yeah, there's water in that ditch. You know what, you guys? Screw this. Here's what we're going to do. I've got the resources. We're going to throw away these three pails. We're going to assume we used... I don't know. This much snow to fill them. <laughs> and then we're going to go into the... The, uh creative menu and just get some full pails of water. I don't I don't want to mess with it. Because the reality is I should be able to just scoop the snow in the bucket and go heat it up on the stove, but apparently the game doesn't have a way to do that. Okay, so that takes care of our buckets. We might ha end up pulling a few more things out of the creative menu anyways. Alright, now let's go back to what we were looking at. Sinks and toilets, yeah. Uh, okay, so we need pipes, mechanical parts, and wood. Pipes. Mechanical parts. And I have the wood. Alright, let's make three of these. And then we'll see what the options are. If I don't like these options, then we're going to pull something nicer out of the creative menu. Because we've already paid for them by making these. Alright, let's go back in here. So, for the sink, let's go into here, and what do we have? That's a fountain, commercial, yeah, all of these sinks and toilets just look like crap. Uh, Alright, let's go back into here. Maybe we don't even have a better sink option. I think that looks terrible too, that sink. Uh, what about toilets? There's fancy toilet, which I think... <laughs> it all looks terrible, you guys. There's just nothing, no two ways about it. Oh. 
Wait a minute, what? What in the hell's going on there? Didn't they used to have a toilet that had like a like a red lid that didn't look I mean looked better than everything else? Fancy toilet. We need a couple of these back. Two, by the way. Um, well, no. One of these and a sink back. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to find a nicer sink either. Unless we put, like, this kind of a sink in, which we could do. Alright, let's look at that possibility here. I mean, that looks much, much better than the, than the other thing. All right. <laughs> Why is it doing that? All right. Um. Game. You are really starting to piss me off now. Okay. Fancy toilet. If we here, let's let's not do on face. Let's just do uh, a simple rotation. And we're gonna say go that way. There we go. Oh, okay, that's the best we can do, guys. That is the best we can do. Alright, are we gonna have any luck with with tubs? Um, bathtub. Oh, we got this. We got the claw foot. That doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look absolutely terrible. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Remember, I paid for all three of these pieces already, so there you go. Okay. I guess this is probably the best it's going to get. Um, I don't know. The sink kind of does look a little bit out of place, though, doesn't it? Should we just go back to the crap sink and call it call it a day? Uh, yeah, pedestal sink. Okay. Yeah, I think that's as good as it's going to get. But at least it looks a little bit better in here with the with the black marble thing that we did. And I'm okay with the walls and ceiling. I mean, again, we just don't have that many options here. Okay, bathroom is finished. Now, let's go into the kitchen. And we're going to want to... I think I'm going to take this out. Because it just looks like shit. I might regret it later, but we'll see. Somebody's outside. Out in the front. Creepy crawly. I mean, for that matter, I might end up removing those two. If we ever get a breach in the gate, though, that could that could not be good for us. But hey, it makes things more exciting, doesn't it? Okay, what are we gonna do in the kitchen now? Um, this sink. I accidentally hit this with my sledgehammer the other day, and for whatever reason won't let me repair it see I'm, I'm pressing the mouse button it doesn't even do anything I have no idea why um, and we do have some stuff in here too why don't we pull all of that out of there and we want to make this a red sink anyway 
Um, we can leave the faucet there. Okay, so... I guess we need to make another sink. So that means we need to make... To pay for it, we need to make, make another bucket. Uh, uh, with forged iron. Which I already have. <laughs> okay, but we're actually in reality going to pull a full bucket out of here. And we should have everything else that we need to make the sinks and toilets option. Okay, let's grab this. Yeah, no, don't be hitting shit. And we want the red kitchen sink here. There, okay. Now, we're going to also want to replace the brown cupboards with the red as well. Unless, well, actually, can we paint those? Uh, what do I do with my paintbrush? Maybe we can just paint those. Yeah, you know what, though? They're not exactly the same cabinet. So, I think we can just get those from here. We go here, and we go deco. We got an, an ajar cupboard, which we don't want. Really? That's all you're going to give us? Those options there? That's it? <laughs> what? Maybe those aren't workable cupboards. Uh, what about in here? Okay, cabinets and cupboards. This is what we want. Okay, so we need some nails. Um, Nails, nails, nails. Those are going to be in Forge products. Let's put this stuff back in there. For now, uh, we're going to toss the bucket. Okay. Uh, how many of these do we need to make? We need to make one, two, three, four more. Okay. And then we'll... Um... All right, so what do we have in our inventory? Oh, the stuff that was in the sink. Okay, so let's put um, this stuff back in. I've been playing a lot of Icarus lately, so my muscle memory on my fingers is tuned, attuned to Icarus. So I keep hitting the wrong damn key. Okay, now we want to, let's do this one first. So this is all of our food and drink. Pull everything out of there. And we want this cupboard here, right? Yeah, I think so. There we go. And then we'll uh, put all of this back in. Along with the black strap, and actually we already had, oh, and this stuff too. Yeah, we had the mineral water already in our inventory, so we're good to go there. Let's just throw this in here. All right, and then let's see, this is our full cans of food. So we'll do that one next. Um, just put all this in like that. All right, and then we have our candies and drugs. Turn you around. Put all of this back in here. There, let's get this out of here too. And then finally, oh, we should we should put something down there. This cabinet, which actually doesn't have anything in it at the moment. 
All right, so let's go here. We want this one here. And we need to make one more of these to fill in there. And that'll take care of our cabinets. I don't mind the fridge. It looks like shit, but it is what it is. We might look and see. Um, hold on a sec. We need this one. Okay, what kind of stove options do we have? Do we have the ability to make a stove of any sort? Or maybe an oven? We do not. Um, okay, let's go into here. So we got this wall oven, which actually matches the kitchen. So we're going to grab this. Um, really, there's no oven option, huh? A wall safe. What about a fridge? No fridge option either. All right. I mean, I don't know how much what this thing should cost. So let's just say it costs us, um, say like ten forged iron, maybe, and maybe a little bit of wood and maybe some pipes. And maybe some electrical parts because it's an oven. And yeah, we'll call it good. Okay, so we paid for that. Uh, now let's get, uh, there's nothing in there. We are going to have to pick this up so it doesn't collapse when we put the new stove underneath. I guess we, we're not going to be able to see the red on it, but that's okay. I just like the look of this one, you know, better than the other one. All right, let's put this all back together here. Put a little wood in there if we need it for later. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, um, I don't know if I like these stools here. I, I think there was like a, a like a little bar here or something. We could put that back, actually. No, not sinks and toilets, cupboards, cabinets and cupboards. What are we missing? Nails. Uh, I actually might have to make some more nails. Yep, we are going to have to make some more nails. Uh, let's make 500. Or 380 is good. <laughs> um. Okay, so... Um, I guess... So we'll just use these. We might as well make them cabinets, so if we wanted to use them for storage, we could. There. We'll put the bar back. I don't know if... Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I like that table back there. I don't think I do. There. We fixed that problem. We'll keep our little kitchen trash bin there. All right, I think that fixes most everything in here with the uh, with the, with the furniture. I would like some actual working lights, but I'm not going to give myself that until well, either that or we just build a lantern and call it good. The lantern's going to give better light, anyways. Uh, what do we need to make one of those? All of that stuff. Headlights, electricals, duct tape, and oil. Oil. Electrical. Headlights. Duct tape. Lantern. Alright, let's make one of those. Because we do have this light over here. 
while we're waiting for that, um, here, I'm going to get rid of this stuff. I guess I should be wrenching that because then I'll get some parts from it. Let's get rid of these lights because they're not working and they look like crap. We're just going to put a lantern up on the ceiling and that's going to give us lots of light in here. Twelve seconds left on that. Okay. Um, it looks like all the trim, and I'm okay with the ceiling in here, but the walls, we have to change. The walls look like shit. So, we could go with the black marble again in here, just because, I mean, there's not a whole lot of other options that don't look terrible, or the gray marble. Do we have a different type? I thought we had more than one type of marble. What about granite? Black granite. What does that look like? Hmm. That's really more uh, of a countertop thing. Can we actually paint that? Oh, we can. Ooh. Look at that, you guys. I didn't think it was going to let us... Whoop, no, not that. Paint this. That's nice. That's a lot nicer. Okay. I'm down with that. Uh, but not really on the floor. So, yeah, let's go back to the gray marble option. For the floor. And that might actually look good. Except for the boards that, you know, are showing the broken thingamadoodles. We're going to have to replace. So that's that one, and this one, and this one. I think it's just those there. Let's uh, upgrade these two before we paint them this time. All right, now we should be able to go here and do surface and paint the whole surface. Everything that's the same texture that you're pointing at that's connected is what that will paint. That's very handy. All right, that doesn't look bad, actually. That doesn't look bad at all. I'm down with it. Okay, so now uh, the tile that's on the back wall. That we want to fix, and we want to fix this. So what we did in the bathroom is we went with this. It's a little bit less grungy looking. Um, so why don't we texture pick that, and we'll do the same thing for the walls in the kitchen here. Yeah, it's just a little better. Uh, looks like that piece got hit up there. There. Uh, that piece, too. Okay. We can work with that. We can work with that. Okay, now, um, what I want to do here... Here is, um, actually, yeah, let's just do surface, but then we're, we're going to change things down below. I want this part to look the same here. Um, is this actually, did we upgrade that to concrete? Uh, do I have concrete? I think we should, because it is the doorway, and if we did get a breach... They're going to come for that area. So let's upgrade this to concrete. And then we'll just repaint. Oops. That. And then texture pick this and repaint that. Okay, good. Very, very good. Oh, uh, we want to hit this too. Okay.
Not bad, you guys. Not bad. All right. So now what are we going to do with this tile business here? I do not like this tile at all. It looks like crap. What if we... Let's just try the brick texture. I mean, that might look weird, but let's try it. If we don't like it, then we don't have to stick with it. I'm just going up two blocks high because it's consistent with what we did in here, too. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. May maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. What else do we have? Medicine cabinet. What does that look like? Oh, no. <laughs> not gonna happen. Um, what else do we have? We've got black TV screen. No, that's not... That's not working either. What tile options do we have? These are floor tiles. This is what it was. But the gray marble's already on the floor. And we, I mean, we could, we could just do that, actually. Only, only because it's kind of the best option, you know? Even though it's the same as the floor. Is there anything else, though, that might look halfway decent here? Those are all fabric types of things. These are wood and metal. Yeah, I, boy, I don't know, you guys. Honestly, I think the gray marble is going to look the best. So let's do this. Uh, let's paint the whole surface. Maybe if we're going to do this, though, maybe what we do here is. Go back to just the bottom part like it was originally, except for, you know, back along here. All right, let's grab our light. I think that's about as good as it's going to get, you guys, because I just, again, I just don't have the options that I'd like to have. Oh, we're not going to be able to center this either. Shit. Um, okay, well, if we can't center it, we can't center it. Let's just put it there, and it still lights things up really nicely in here. All right, I think we're done with the kitchen. As good as it, we can get. Um, I, there's, there's probably no way I can paint that, huh? It looks terrible. Uh, see, now this might look good as the black TV screen texture here. Oh, 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 we can. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, I didn't think that was going to let me paint it. That looks a lot better. Well, I think we all will agree that it's better than it was. <laughs> Perfect? No. Uh, but, you know, with the very limited, you know, stuff we have to work with, de deco-wise, <coughs> um, I think it's I think it's okay. All right, we have one last thing to do in the house, and then we're finished with the interior. And then the, the remaining house flipper episode is going to be outside. Uh, we need to replace... 
a bunch of windows. So let me count those. So we got four, eight, 12, 16. So we need 16 windows. So let's go get those cooking up. Uh, I think we do that in the fort, right? Yeah, wood windows. So, oh, glass blocks. I have those here. Oh, we don't make those in the forge. We just make those in our own inventory, right? Uh, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Okay, so let's go back upstairs. We got all the windows fixed down below. It'd be really nice if we had, like, some nice curtain options, but I don't believe that we do. All right, let's bust these out. Put the new windows in. There's not a whole lot of work we have to do up here. It's I, I kind of like it more or less the way that it already is, so... All right, and we'll put... Uh, how are those set up over here? Oh, that's a that's a narrow sill here. Yeah. I think we would want... Oh, yeah, we don't have a choice. We're going to have to do it this way. Unless... Uh, yeah, see, there isn't an, an offset option as far as I know. This is the only option it gives us. Okay, well, the way it's going to have to be then. That looks really neat, looking out the, the windows at the snow. I like it. I like it, man. All right, let's get these busted out. we got to get this sill uh, fixed, too, which we will do. Okay, and then this has already been busted out, so we just got to put the windows in. Been awfully cold in my bedroom up here. And then this side here. Get these windows in, and like I said, we'll do this the sill. And then maybe a couple things on the walls, and then we'll be we'll be good to go. Okay, let's grab this, and I think we want the sill to be this. Uh, texture, and we're also going to do a paint surface. Yeah, that one's already done. Okay, looking good. Let's do this one. And over here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, now. For the walls. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we just leave them the way they are. We're going to kind of run into the same problem where we're not going to have any better options. That looks a little jank. You know what I think would if, it'd be better if we make it look the same on both sides, I think. There. Um, yeah, I mean... I think it's okay the way it is, the more I think about it, because... You know, the color... At least the colors match... It looks nice and clean up here, even though, you know, it definitely has that worn look to it. Can we come up with a working lamp? I think we tried these already, and they don't they don't actually turn on, right? Yeah, I think we already did that. What the hell is that? Robotic headlamp mod schematic. Oh, that's probably for the drone, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think it's okay up here, guys. I really do. I don't think we're going to really be able to make it any better than it is. So we're going to run with this. And I'm going to declare our house completely 
Uh, almost completely. <laughs> finished. Now, I'm going to declare our house completely finished on the interior for house flipping. And it is done. Except for we're going to remove these because they look like shit. I know this is not a good idea. I'm doing it anyways. I don't care. I want things to look nice in here. Okay. Looking good, people. Looking good. So what is left for House Flipper? Exterior of the house is what's left. We basically need to fix that. You know, make it look good. And we got some some changes we got to do on the eaves up there too. I don't know if I'm really going to do anything else. Um, I'll probably go around and whack all the weeds and get rid of those. But, you know, we are in a snow biome, so it really wouldn't make sense for me to create a yard with a lawn and stuff like that. You know? Um... So other than pick up the weeds, which I'll, I guess I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, I might, I don't know. I, I was, I might, I might dig out this crappy looking gravel and just replace it with snow. So, and, and also dig out all this rubble and replace it with snow too. And I'll have to cheat that in because I can't make snow blocks in the game, but I'll I'll just sacrifice snowballs for it. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do, and that's all we're going to do with the yard. So really all that's left is just the siding and the trim on the outside of the house, which we should be able to easily take care of in one more episode. So I think we just have one more house flipper episode to go, and we should be golden. He's going for the door. It's going for the door. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll be done with House Flipper. Uh, let's see. It's day 53. Horde's not till 56. I might do the House Flipper in the next episode. I know I've had a couple of building, back to back building episodes, but I, I just want to get it done, you know? Uh, and then have our nice house to enjoy for the remaining few episodes that we have left in this series. So we probably will do that, but we'll see. I might not. We might we might take a break from the house flipper in the building and go do another tier four. We do have to get to tier five uh, and do at least one tier five in this series too before we completely wrap things up. So um, we'll figure it out. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.